tell the truth, the kind of the dirty little secret is a lot of influencers will charge you a lot of money to, to mention your game. Like it looks very quick and sort of, hey, look, I'll just try this new game. I had. That's thousands. That costs you thousands to get your your game's name on the lips of anybody who's even remotely a popular YouTuber. Um, it used to be people would do it for fun, but it's gotten to the stage that it's just not worth the money for most indies. Um, what you do instead is you find yourself some sort of... Um, there's a marketing firms that are out there, and I know it sounds very gauche and people don't really like the idea, um, but people do this for a living. Like mm. the, the actual getting your game out there is a is a trick that requires a lot of skill, and it's not just it's not just going to influencers. You're better off spending the two three thousand it would cost you to hire someone who's prof professionally involved in uh, advertising your game, because at the end of the day, if your game isn't advertised correctly, you're not going to make any sales. And it may sound like a lot of money to say, oh my god, two or three thousand. Well. If you sell your game correctly, you should be making thirty thousand. And if you if you undersell the amount you're going to put into your advertising, your game doesn't get sold, and you don't even make two thousand. So it's a lot of money, but realistically, if you if you've invested two years of your life to make a game, invest two or three thousand just to advertise it. Um, and so yeah, don't do it yourself. Like some people are really good at it, and you can you can learn how to. But then you're basically giving yourself another job. Um, the, the long and short of it is, if you want an influencer to advertise your game. They have to want to. It has to be popular. It has to be like Goose Game. People, they didn't go and pay every YouTuber to play Goose Game. But they wanted to because it was a cool game everyone's enjoying playing. So you you can cheat in some ways. Some of the influencer um, kind of marketers, they know people at different magazines. So Or they know people at, well, let's say magazines. I guess these days it's websites. But they know the people at Kotaku and stuff. And they, will get, they can get the kind of bend the ear of the right people to get articles written about your game. Uh, and it's all about contacts. So... Don't bother reaching out. They're just going to ignore your emails. They get thousands of emails a day about who, which game to play. Instead, find someone, pay for someone to do this job for you with the right contacts and the right people. Get your game out there and like invest in it. You know. Yeah, my, my wife works for a marketing agency, and to your point, uh, it is an, a whole separate job. You know, to to be a marketer, and then on top of that, to be a marketer for a particular niche. Like the, the agency that my wife works for, they have their own particular. Uh, niche that they fit into. Um, but you're going to find um, marketing agencies uh, that are sp specific to game development, and they will have the connections, the contacts to reporters, to influencers, and, and just the right people to get you know your game out in front of the right eyeballs. Um, so yeah, Unfortunately, I can't give you good names. It's not something I've been doing recently enough to know who the people are, but um, yeah, there are there's other people out there who are know this a lot better than I do. And I would say Google it, search for it, you'll find answers to your question. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to set you the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And spend and like you said, spending money, when you think about, you know, creating an indie game, if you're an independent developer, just because you're an independent developer doesn't mean it's all going to be free. I mean, you have to put capital into it. It is it is a business. I mean, you do want to make money from your art. Um, and artists in, in any field uh, whether they be independent filmmakers or, or like our audience as game developers, you know, you're going to have to spend some money to make some money and uh, unfortunately spend some money to get your art out into in, in front of the public. So it's just, yeah, I mean, for example, like if you go searching online, you'll find a lot of advice that says you don't need a publisher. Mm. And that's technically true. We live in a world now where publisher is kind of an arbitrary, meaningless job, unless you literally need the money for, for certain things. Um, when people say that, what they really mean is you can market your game without a uh, publisher. But the little asterisk there is you have to actually market your game. And the way they tend to recommend this is by social outreach. And the way you do that is you build communities. And you'll see this a lot around starting games where they build a forum or a subreddit or something. And they, have, they, they tweet a lot and they get people engaged and they do the whole early access thing and they get people actively shilling for your game realistically for, for free. Um, and that's something you can do, but you have to like make that. You have to make it community, you have to manage a community, you have to have social people doing that stuff. That is an option. The other option is you get a publisher to do it for you. Now, there's a lot of bad publishers, do an awful lot of research, do not just pick the first publisher to offer you money, but there are some really good ones and they will basically, they know how to market your game. So that's another option is you can go to a publisher, take the cut on the profits, but like have your game marketed correctly. So you will make something. So. There's a lot of options, but don't slack on the marketing. It's kind of the, the go-to, right? Like, there's, there's, think of all the time you spent making it. It's, it's worth putting in at least a portion of that time into just getting people to look at it.